All excellent and high quality RPGs are known to you, they have a lot of reviews and a high rating, but RPGs, which almost no one knows about and are of high quality, are difficult to find, and it's strange what this can be. Therefore, this selection at the beginning comes with medium RPGs, but in the end, there will be worthy copies. I hope you will enjoy. It's Be Indie. Enjoy watching. The Waylanders is a role-playing game about Celtic culture. The story begins with a tribal people meeting gods such as the Tuatha de Danann. But instead of ascension and enlightenment, death follows, as a result of which a gap is formed in the flow of time. Black magic begins to envelop the land, and the entire Celtic culture is on the verge of extinction. If she dies, then this threatens not only mortals, but also immortal beings. Everything is under threat, druids, werewolves, goblins, and monsters. The game offers a choice of two sides, a young but legitimate heir to the throne, or an experienced and pragmatic military leader. During the passage of the storyline, you repeatedly have to make a choice on which side to take, with whom to make an alliance, with whom to build a romantic relationship, and who to help in adventures. Fight numerous enemies in corridor locations, kill bosses, upgrade your hero's skills, turn into huge monsters, meeting enemies on your way that you can't handle in human form, and just enjoy the journey. And believe me, it will only get worse. The game costs $34.99, Mecha Jammer is a tactical RPG adventure that takes you to a dark cyberpunk universe. Events develop into one of the human colonies. Players will need to sneak into the shadows and brutally attack their enemies. You will need to assemble a squad of unique fighters in order to set off to explore a gloomy despotic city. It is necessary to resist the occult syndicate. Gameplay Mecha Jammer includes elements of turn-based stealth and horror. The main characters are mercenaries, bandits, thieves, and other not the most pleasant personalities. Each member of the squad has its own unique abilities and characteristics. You need to select team members based on your style of play. Controlling a group of deserters, you need to find a way out of the stone jungle, which has become a real prison for the inhabitants of the city. However, escaping these oppressive walls is not so easy. You will need to collect rumors in order to use them for tactical purposes. You also need to bribe enemies, earn the trust of the townspeople, and complete a wide variety of missions. The gameplay is an immersive stealth action game where there are multiple paths that each player can take. Depending on the choice, the story develops in an individual way. You can fully customize your character and create your build with unique abilities and skills. The game costs $24.99. The third-person role-playing game, Insomnia, The Ark, with a huge number of upgrades, weapons, parts, items, crafting and plot twists, has become the studio's most difficult project, and it's clear why. The gloom of the world in many moments was drawn by hand. The space station is completely made of physical models. According to the plot, no one knows what happened at Object 6, but the main character will fight creatures, mutants, people, and a disease called Somnia. Where did it all come from? You have to find out. The plot develops on Object 6, which has been moving towards the new Earth for a little less than 500 years. The protagonist wakes up after a long cryosleep, under the influence of which every person was zombified. The protagonist is trying to understand the current dictatorship regime and what happened at the station itself. At the station, they say something about the evacuation point, but Object 6 did not land anywhere. Based on this, the hero concludes that the mystical direction was false, and he is horrified. We start walking around the locations to explore the area around, start killing mutants and monsters, collect items and level up the character, and at the same time deal with Somnia, which at first shows itself too weakly. A huge number of quests, a flexible character leveling system, a lot of weapons that can be combined with individual perks, as well as armor equipment that will make it easier to deal with enemies. On the locations you will find unexpected allies, but they will be unrealistically few. The decline of the human race is tightly woven into several storylines where even the most obscure fact can affect the future history of people. The game costs $29.99. Immortals, Phoenix Rising is an open-world RPG that draws heavily on Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild mechanics. Moreover, the developers set themselves the goal of creating a full-fledged analog of Zelda for PC players. The history of the game is based on ancient Greek myths. The plot revolves around the Olympian gods fighting the giant Typhon, the son of Tartarus and Gaia. Events take place on the Golden Island. 
the continent has been invaded and controlled by a monster. He turned mortals into stones, animals, golems, etc. Three gods survived, Prometheus, Zeus, and Hermes. They are trying to take advantage of a hero named Phoenix, who accidentally arrived on the island. Involuntarily, he becomes the last hope for the salvation of mankind. A feature of the project is that it stands out for its frivolity and self-irony. Dialogue, visual style, and other aspects of the adventure are completely saturated with humor. Zeus and Prometheus always have off-screen conversations about the adventures of the Phoenix, which can only make the players laugh. The hero travels across the big world, which is divided into sectors. In each zone, you will have to fight with one powerful god boss. In the center of the map, a battle with the legendary Typhon awaits. You can move around on your own two feet and tame a wild animal. The Phoenix can also fly with its wings, which allows the gameplay to take on elements of verticality. The hero fights with three types of weapons, a sword, an axe, and a bow. Each weapon has its own characteristics. The sword strikes quickly, while the axe strikes slowly, but deals massive damage. All weapons are subject to pumping. Combat is based on focus. The hero has instant access to healing, defense, damage, or stamina potions. There are special attacks. In addition to battles, you need to clear a lot of dungeons. Each dungeon is presented with an inventive puzzle, where you will receive a quest item or an important artifact to level up. The game costs $59.99, The Space Epic Salvation Prophecy focuses on the war of three factions, humans, mutants, and robots, trying to win world domination. But the main danger is an ancient prophecy, which consists in the destruction of all life. You have to cancel the apocalypse. Fights will take place both in open space and on planets. The gameplay will make you feel like a bounty hunter and treasure hunter. In total, five races will meet during the game, four of which are playable. The gameplay in addition to RPG contains elements of strategy. It is necessary to manage your race, which can become one of the dominant ones in the universe. But to their greatness, you need to come through a lot of buildings, improvements, and the capture of enemy colonies. The role-playing system allows you to upgrade guns, blasters, swords, armor, etc. The protagonist has 16 types of upgrades, divided into four groups, damage, defense, and two slots for stimulants. The game costs $19.99, The Technomancer is a sci-fi action game with RPG elements from the Spider Studio. The entourage of the game is made in the cyberpunk style and takes the player to Mars, where people began to explore its lands and divide the sphere of influence. Among the warring corporations were Aurora and Abundance, unleashing a war with each other for the remaining water on the Red Planet. The game raises themes of discrimination, inequality, and slavery. The main character, Zacharias Manser, as a member of the Order of Technomancers, is engaged in looking for people with unusual powers and along the way finds lost artifacts and technologies of the Earth. But other Technomancers may stand in his way, betraying the values of the Order and going over to the side of greedy corporations. Technomancers are partly based on the image of the Jedi Knights, but instead of a lightsaber, the player controls an electric weapon. The game will take you through populated cities like Ophir or Noctis, abandoned settlements and forgotten wastelands. The game costs $9.99, Inquisitor is an indie project with a lot of action and RPG mechanics. Made in the style of old-school games like Diablo, with the same isometric camera, it was developed over many years by a Czech company of independent programmers and released by them without the capacities of large publishers. The setting of the adventure is the fictional kingdom of Uthers. The story begins with the signs described in the prophecies of the ancient Saint Ezekiel. According to the Elder, they mean the imminent end of the world for all living things. The main character will be one of the Inquisitors, Maximilian Conti. His goal is the merciless extermination of heresy and mutants that have bred on sacred land. One day, the protagonist is sent to the city of Hilbrandt to investigate the brutal murder of a local merchant. In the process, the identity of the killer is established, Linda von Callaghan, the wife of a nobleman. But behind this crime lies much greater conspiracies and secrets which the main character explores. At the start of the game in The Inquisitor, there are three classes for Maximilian to choose from, a thief, a priest, and a paladin. This defines a set of abilities and characteristics for confronting evil spirits while traveling. An interesting feature will be the mechanics of interaction with criminals. They can be tortured in dungeons after being arrested, 
and after confessing to atrocities, they must be burned at the stake as heretics for acts against God and the king. The main thing is not to condemn the innocent by falling on false trails and drawing the wrong conclusions. The game costs $9.99, Black Geyser, Couriers of Darkness is a role-playing party game based on classic old-school RPG mechanics, isometric camera, active pause, etc. A team can have up to five people. At the same time, you can go through the campaign alone, traveling the world only as the main character. As in any well-developed and large-scale role-playing game, you have to complete many epic quests, upgrade abilities, choose a character class, and even build romantic relationships. The game takes place in the world of Ismerald, Trouble suddenly strikes when the goddess of greed, Zornilsa, curses the entire realm. Only a hero and his companions can stop the world from an impending threat. A feature of the gameplay is that any action of the player affects not only the environment, but also the power of the goddess. For example, getting rewards, collecting loot, making offerings in temples, stealing from shops, etc. All this directly affects the world of the game. Prices at vendors increase, Villagers take up arms and attack the player's house or his allies. Depending on the pumping, the style of passing changes dramatically. Developing as a thief, you can rummage through the pockets of passers-by or put various poisonous or sleeping potions into their inventory. Throw stolen items to frame the characters, engage in alchemy, recycle materials and much more. In the world of Ismerald, you can become anyone you want. The game costs $29.99. Jade Empire is a third-person action-adventure RPG. The player is given a choice from the very beginning, fight with his fist or improve his combat skills with an open palm. Travel to the time of the Jade Empire to fight enemies, or vice versa, join them. Destroy the villains, gradually returning the lands to peaceful people, or eliminate the latter, turning the world around into darkness. The actions of the protagonist will determine the fate of the world, as well as the further narrative of the plot. Use the power of the protagonist, his incredible melee skills that can change the course of history. Crush the ground under your heel or bring peace to the Jade Empire. The protagonist has an extensive list of melee abilities. He is a wonderful fighter and is able to take on the strongest men on the continent. Use all the features of the character, fighting with enemies. Do combo attacks, sweeps, strikes in the air or defend against enemy attacks with blocks. Travel across a vast world that includes more than three cities, plains, forests, castles, and caves. Each location has many decorative objects, as well as minor characters and sometimes hidden places. Fight around the world with ordinary people or mythical creatures. Complete tasks as you progress through the story and do as you please, which will affect the development of the story. The game costs $14.99. Action RPG Alaloth. Champions of the Four Kingdoms takes the player to the magical Middle Ages. The story begins in Stormsong Valley, where four legendary races meet, humans, elves, dwarves, and orcs. It is here that the cruel god Alaloth is imprisoned. From the realm of the dead itself, he poisons all kingdoms with his evil. Soon, monsters, storms, diseases, and mighty dragons will burst into this world. Someone will have to stop the forces of evil and restore world peace. The combat system in the game is extremely hardcore, so sometimes it punishes even the slightest mistakes. Movements should be thought out in advance, taking into account the characteristics of opponents. To open new skills, the player must upgrade the hero, constantly improving his potential. And besides this, you can choose a special focus, weapons, faith, or nature. Each of them opens access to their professions. Graphically, the game is made in a classic style for the genre, with an amazing world around. From the elven forest of Goldwood to the heights of the fangs of Kimoth with the dwarves. From the desert home of the orcs, the wastes of God, to the thriving capital of humans, the blessed Ederist. The study of various locations is given complete freedom and their secrets can drag on for hours. The game costs $14.99. The events of Drakensheim, the river of time, will be told from the point of view of the dwarf Forgrim who remembers the bright moments of the past. Actions will take place in a port city mired in crime and corruption. The game, despite being a sequel to the game of the same name, acts as a prequel and takes place 23 years before the first part. The dynamic world of Nadoret will react to your actions. The city will change as you progress, 
offering to meet new heroes on the past streets, get additional quests, and all the events that happened and shook the streets will be covered in newspapers or in the dialogues of local residents. Depending on the chosen gender, race, and class, the gameplay changes significantly. The classes consist of warriors, mages, thieves, archers, pirates, and barbarians. Depending on the chosen specialization, individual tasks will be available. Thieves must enter the warehouse, warriors will patrol the streets of the city, and magicians will perform rescue missions. The gameplay includes many playable classes, spells, weapons, items, and more. All of them allow you to create many effective combinations against the enemy. A well-thought-out role-playing system offers to master many diplomatic skills, bargaining, knowledge of people, seduction, etiquette, persuasion, and knowledge of the streets. Each of them will offer their own variations of the passage of certain tasks, and may also affect the outcome of the dialogue. Since the main character does not walk alone, but with a party of partners, the game takes into account the skills of all the fighters in the team, so you can use the abilities of a diplomatic character in dialogues or rely on the combat skills of a partner. The game costs $19.99. Balram allows the player to experience all the hardships of survival in a forest filled with monsters. According to the initial story, the main character left his native village and began to live apart from everyone. However, a few years ago, all the inhabitants moved to the dark forest. The character always knew that something bad and embittered was hiding in the thicket, but he could not even think that he would have to fight with creatures in order to protect ordinary people. Despite the main plot, according to which you should unravel the mysteries and secrets of the forest, you will need to take care of your hero. To begin with, Balram offers to create a character, but at the same time choose not only his appearance, but also skills with skills. For example, you can set up a predisposition to swordsmanship and the possession of melee weapons or pump archery, which will help out when trying to get food. The player needs to explore the map, finding all sorts of useful artifacts, as well as educational manuscripts and masters of a particular craft that could help to gain skills. This will help create new weapons and household items, a variety of tools. The game has a crafting system that allows you to make completely new ammunition from scratch. In addition to tactical turn-based combat, you should also take care of supplies. Next to the health scale there are indicators such as hunger and thirst, which greatly affect the performance of the main character. The player will have to go hunting to get some meat, filter the water to avoid poisoning, and also build their own farm with a vegetable garden. Such a system significantly diversifies the constant battles with enemies. The game costs $14.99. Immersion in the fantasy world of Summoner takes place in the form of role-playing mechanics and elements of turn-based battles where you have to go to study the lore and setting of the universe. Under the player's guidance comes the main character named Joseph, who is able to assemble a squad of several characters and call for help from various creatures. The gameplay process is made in the sequential study of locations on the world map, where the main plot of the campaign will be revealed. The story in Summoner begins with an introduction to mechanics and the basics of control, where you need to move around the area and complete the tasks received, in addition to the missions of the main storyline, secondary quests and puzzles will be available that require a quick solution in the process of exploring environmental objects made in the form of simple puzzles or obstacles that require physical elimination. Traveling, you have to meet with a large number of enemies and engage in fights. The combat part is created in the form of turn-based moves, where the characters attack and move through passable territories. There is a system of chain reactions, where, when the correct sequential combination is performed, the effect of strong or large-scale damage to opponents occurs, extending the capabilities of the heroes. The player's party can accommodate up to four companions, allowing you to take turns or call on the help of monsters participating on your side. The game costs $4.99. Siege of Avalon Anthology is an isometric role-playing game in a fantasy setting. The main focus of the game is on storytelling and exploration of the world. Events unfold in the Avalon Citadel, the last bastion of the once Seven Kingdoms. Enemies surrounded the fortress, and the inhabitants of the city are preparing to repel the assault. The attack comes from the steppe hordes of Sha'aholds, led by the shaman Mithras. Take on the role of a hero who can protect the bastion, 
and become a true legend of his people. During the passage of a fascinating story, you will get to know dozens of unique characters, encounter various mystical creatures from ancient legends, etc. There are three character classes to choose from, warrior, ranger, and mage. Upgrade your abilities, find new weapons and equipment, improve your skills and learn spells that can affect your passing style. Siege of Avalon. The anthology is a party-based RPG, so recruit unique characters for your squad. The story is full of political twists and turns and tells about the deceit and real heroism of brave people. Communicate with different characters, participating in interesting dialogues and influencing the overall course of the story. The game is conceived as an interactive book, so a huge emphasis is placed on the structure of the world and the narrative part. The game costs $9.99. Echelon. Book 1. A turn-based role-playing game that allows you to set the hero not only the class and race, but also the character. Choose between an atheist, an agnostic, and an altruist. Depending on your choice, you get bonuses to magic skills. You can combine the characteristics of the character. The hero's skills are represented by alchemy, lockpicking, the ability to detect hidden objects and traps, the ability to use the shadow, different types of weapons and magic. By developing intelligence, the character will be able to pay attention to small details, including smells or suspicious things. Light torches as you descend into dark dungeons. The guard reacts to your presence and attempts to break the locks. The gameplay alternates turn-based elements with real-time ones. The World of Echelon. Book 1 is represented by a huge open world. Explore cities, forests, fields, etc. Meet travelers, open chests with codes, enter a mysterious portal or fight monsters. The plot does not lead by the hand and offers to feel like a real explorer and traveler. Dozens of monsters and hundreds of various items stand in your way. A total of 24 skills and 8 basic attributes are available. Depending on the chosen skills, the gameplay changes. In the world of Echelon, you have to make choices. Who to trust and who is telling the truth? It's up to you to decide here. However, every choice you make has consequences. Here is an epic solo adventure, made in the spirit of the classics, such as Ultima and Might and Magic. The game is free, thanks to Stepan for supporting this release. Here is such an interesting selection made for you by a subscriber. I hope you found something interesting for yourself. Be sure to write in the comments, maybe you learned some kind of game and what project you would add to this list.